Okay, hey everyone, uh, this is the next part in um, my Kubernetes cluster setup. Uh, the last uh, video wasn't all that fun. Uh, we set up a cluster, but it didn't really do anything. Uh, but it's there. Um, and why that's cool and why I'm glad we did that work is now I can build these containers on my machine and just kind of toss them into this cluster. And uh, when I do that, they'll just run and it'll be great and I don't have to think about it anymore. And whenever I want to update, uh, the application, I just update the container, push it up, and we're good to go. Uh, so let's make a container. Um, we could make really any web application in any web stack. Spring Boot, Nginx, Express, Node, C Sharp, ESPNet, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but uh, we're gonna make, because uh, I don't get to do this very often, uh, we're gonna just make a bare bones, a happy JS server. Um, but again, you can make whatever you want as long as it listens on a web port. So let's do that. Um, a lot of people would make like express, express apps as well, uh, but I'm gonna make a happy app. But again, as long as this thing uh, listens on a port, that's really all that matters. Come on, WebStorm. You guys can make fun of me for using WebStorm. I really like it. Uh, can use Sublime or Atom or VS Code or Vim, whatever you do. Uh, but I'm going to use WebStorm. And I'm already paying for it because it's uh, freaking taking three minutes to load. But you can bear with me. I would like to do um, a longer series about happy projects, uh, maybe one day. Uh, this is uh, like a K8s example. So let's let's get going here. I put this in dev right side projects. CDK8 example. All right, so we're good. So let me just move this here. And cool, I got nothing. I got an empty an empty app. So I'm just gonna make a server JS here. And I don't know, we'll just like serve some JSON or whatever, it's totally cool. Uh, so we, I need to make a web server that listens on a port and serve some sort of content so I know it's working. Um, okay, and we'll just go to the Happy website and take Happy JS. Take their example. Um, this doesn't have to be that complicated or interesting. Uh, we just need to serve some content over HTTP. There we go. So I'm just gonna take this, it's gonna be great. Um, Using a little ES6 here, exciting. Um, my computer's struggling. There we go. And it's listening on 8000, which is fine. I don't really need this host. I'm going to take that out. Um, and this is just making a server. Um, and when I hit uh, backslash hello, oh, sweet, WebStorm doesn't think I'm in ES6 world. Okay, that's probably fine. Um, so this is all we need. So I'm going to npm init so I can install happy. And again, if you're interested in learning more about Happy, um, I'd like to make more videos on this. Uh, I use it a lot. It's my favorite web framework out there right now. It's made by Walmart Labs. A guy named Aaron Hammer uh, was the lead on it. Um, he's pretty awesome. You should follow him on Twitter. Um, he's behind some of the OAuth stuff, too, although he recently quit OAuth. Maybe not so recently, but he quit OAuth. Uh, he's a smart guy. Anyways, so uh, we just um, npm init did, so we should have a package JSON, and then I'm just going to say npm install happy save. So this will go up to npm and install happy because I'm requiring it here, and then we should be able to start um, the web server. Cool. Um, and now if I say node server, um, this should run. Great, it's running at localhost 8000. So if I say localhost 8000, what was that, hello? I need two L's there, buddy. Cool, it says hello world. Um, Cause that's, so I'll just say like, hi from Jeff's server. Got a skate in my backslide. There we go. Cool. Good. 
Great. So it's much over. So uh, the goal is to take this piece of code and throw it into my cluster. So let's do that. 